Hey guys, it's been a while, uh, and that's because of many things which I'm going to explain in this video, uh, hence the title. Um, unfortunately, the gameplay is on uh, NetSky's Sniper TDM, uh, but it's actually, for the first time, quite enjoyable since I haven't played public for like a month until today. Um, anyway, I've got quite a lot of things to cover, so um, I'll start with some quick development stuff. Uh, firstly, since people probably won't know, uh, I'm no longer with Team Dignitas as we couldn't find any suitable players for our lineup. Um, but luckily, our team was actually removed from the organisation and not stuck in the contract for a whole year, meaning I couldn't play for any other teams if I wanted to. Um, but due to that, I again have another new, nice, shiny background. And if you look at the new background, you'll notice something else, which is now a giant Overclockers logo and Overclockers on the banner. Now, this is a pretty big change, uh, not only for me, but for you guys also. Um, it's actually really cool. Uh, basically, for those who don't know and aren't from the UK, or even if you are from the UK but haven't heard of the company, um, I'd say they're probably one of the leading online PC gaming orientated shops, which are based in the UK. Um, luckily, I have a friend who works there, and I know him quite well and have for some time. Uh, he plays COD 4. He's has done since release like me, he's also attended the same lands as me and so on. Uh, we started talking a few weeks ago about starting up some form of like partnership. Um, so after some chat I was invited to their headquarters which was luckily only about 40 minutes drive from where I am at uni. Uh, and I have been there before because I had to collect some um, components. Um, but once I got there we had a meeting and I uh, came to a pretty sweet conclusion. Um, this is because I think easily one of the most frequent questions I get asked from YouTube comments, private messages, Twitter, Facebook, basically everything is about PC components and especially peripherals like mice, keyboards, mouse mats, headsets and honestly I'm no expert on those things because I haven't actually had the chance really to try anything other than what I already use and basically I just take my knowledge off what I already know and are the most used peripherals in pro gaming and gaming in general. Um, I'm very aware that a large amount of my subscribers and followers are console players uh, and I'm glad if I've been able to help them get into PC gaming. Uh, so what we decided was that Overclockers are going to start providing me with the latest peripherals and so on and I'll start playing with them for a few days and then I'm going to start making review videos on what I think about them. Um, now. This may not interest most of the people who come on here just to see me own people on COD4, um, but I'm content with the stuff that I already have. Uh, so I decided that pretty much everything I'm going to be sent, I'm just going to do like on the reviews, I'm just going to start doing giveaways to the people who watch my videos. Um, I'm not sure if I've thought of a way to make this fair for everybody, but I'll announce it and finalise it. Um, when I eventually do my first review. Uh, so I really do think this partnership is pretty sweet and I get to explain about new gear that comes out and you can see it from my point of view um, with the advantages and disadvantages of course. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool and I'm really excited to start doing that as I've never done reviews before. But of course, please don't assume that I'm not going to be continuing doing my usual COD4 videos and commentaries um, because I am. Uh, this is really only like a little side project that benefits everybody. Um, so saying all this it kind of loops back to the reason why I've been so inactive for the last two weeks. Um, I kind of wanted to post this video explaining all the changes that's going on uh, but I couldn't because with my old Dignitas background uh, it had all sponsors on, it had like sponsor conflicts and so on but now I've got a new one it's not a problem. Um, of course as I said earlier Dignitas folded. Uh, there were rumours that I was going to be joining uh, TCM or Team Cooler Master for those who don't know uh, which to lay it down straight uh, we did play for about a week and I probably was going to join them but I don't know after that week I kind of realised that I don't have the time to play at the moment uh, the amount of times and hours needed to put in uh, for like a top team like that um, so yeah where does this leave me well I've only got about six weeks left of uni, uh, which is going to be pretty tough because this is where all the work gets like bunched up and stuff. So I doubt there'll be 
like masses of videos in the next six weeks. But uh, after that, when the university ends, I'll be able to post mega about mega amounts of videos, rather uh, like I used to this time last year. I mean, when I started this channel, um, I was like smashing out two, three, even maybe four videos a week. Um, but that's because I had time to do that in the summer, where every day was just a free day, which is unlike now. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to having that really long period of nothing where I can actually just focus on making videos again. Um, personally I don't actually think I'll be joining another team until then either because obviously I don't have the time but in summer, like in the first year of uni, when I uh, came here I quit for 10 months. Um, after like this time last year I joined the team for summer which is win fact and then uh, we went to all the Summerlands, so chances are that will probably happen again, I hope. Um, actually, I do remember another reason why this video took so long. Uh, not only was it due to uh, the background, but Overclockers did give me like a new webcam uh, at the meeting we had, uh, which cost like £150, by the way. It's like some mega Cybertron space cam, you know, it, like, it looks like Kinect, whatever the hell that thing is on Xbox, which makes you move. Um, but it didn't agree with my PC for some reason, so they sent me out another one, uh, which actually works fine. And I was going to put my lovely face at the start of this video until I realised I looked like shit, so I decided not to. Um, but yeah, for those who watched like my Epic 8 video, which I actually enjoyed making, um, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I'll have much better webcam quality for the reviews and anything else I decide to put my face in. So yeah, that's all the background stuff done, I think. There's probably something I'm missing, because I always do, but... Uh, moving on to the videos that are upcoming and being made. Uh, obviously, I've got my frag movie in the making. Um, honestly, I actually wish I knew when the release date on that was, because I haven't spoken to that movie maker in some time, and I have yet to actually see anything, so... I think I'm going to give it another week or two and if I can't contact him or get an update shown to me of how the movie's looking um, instead of finding a new movie maker because honestly after six movie makers for the last year I give up uh, I am just going to get my demos and then find people to do like you know smaller two minute clips uh, which I can upload every two weeks or month or something just so I have a constant stream of frags to show every month um, I don't know, I haven't really decided yet. Apart from that, uh, I have another guy who is pretty good and he is making me like a mini Epic 8 LAN uh, highlight along with some other demos I've sent him, uh, which I got recently. Um, so hopefully that should be done soon. <laughs> me personally, along with the reviews that's coming, I'm of course going to keep doing my COD videos. Um, I'm not even sure what weapon I'm playing anymore because when I was in TCM for this like trial week, I was forced back to SMG, and to be honest, any team I join from now on, I'll most likely be forced to SMG, which sucks. Uh, but I guess I might try some kind of sniper tutorials, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think I've said before that I'm not really that motivated to do many tutorials right now. Um, oh yeah, I remember, I'm going to do a new series where I choose a team to play against, and I record, and so does the other team, well, one of the other team's players, and then I'll take both of our demos and explain the good and bad stuff. Um, and what can be improved, so hopefully that will help other people improve. Um, I've already chosen the first people, I just haven't got around to doing it, uh, so that's got to be sorted out. Apart from that, um, I've been working on the promotional video with another guy called uh, Sen, so that's finally underway. Um, I guess I can give you a little sneak of the intro part now before I end the video, but yeah, uh, speak to you guys soon, and look out for the new reviews that's coming. <laughs>